Have you ever thought about how long electricity will last on our planet? Have you ever thought about alternatives? Personally, this is something I never considered until I ended up at Expo 2020 in Dubai. Last year, I had the opportunity to work at Expo as a tour guide. And there was a pavilion which really attracted my attention. It was called Terra. Terra was located in the sustainability section of Expo. And it was incredibly thought provoking. You see, every single aspect, component, and feature of Terra was designed as a response to global issues related to sustainability. One of the main challenges we face globally with sustainability is the matter of electricity consumption. To address this challenge, Terra offered two different immersive tracks that take visitors either under a forest or under the ocean in order to learn more about the beauty of the natural world. This meant that a large part of the pavilion was in fact subterranean, which means that it needed less energy to cool it. I am not an engineer or an architect. I am an English teacher and currently studying a master's degree. But I literally found myself in a state of amazement at this truly remarkable design. So I began to wonder, why don't we build on this idea in order to make future homes more environmentally friendly and switch out artificial resources for natural ones? I mean, just look at our surroundings. Most buildings, such as schools, factories, and offices, they all consume a lot of energy on a daily basis. And unfortunately, we take them for granted. The unique design of this Terra Pavilion led me down a rabbit hole of research about sustainability. And I became very passionate about electricity consumption. Recent studies showed that the world's electricity consumption has continuously grown over the past half a century, reaching approximately 25,300 terawatt hours in 2021. See how serious it is? Electricity is one of the most important resources in our lives. And that's why electricity seems to be a particularly difficult area to promote sustainable consumption. Just look around you. Lights, cameras, your smartphone. There is hardly anything that does not require electricity in order for it to function. What's scary is that due to the enormous daily demand for electricity worldwide, it has become very hard to produce enough for everyone. What frustrates me the most is that whenever I do research on Google about ways we can conserve energy, I consistently find the same answers over and over again. For example, switch off lights and electrical appliances when not using them. Change your AC filter. Well, frankly speaking, as someone from Gen Z, I'm not convinced by these solutions. And I don't think they hold much promise for the future. Therefore, I would like to share some ideas with you about what the future homes will look like and how we can save electricity, which in turn will conserve energy. Imagine a future home that can be built below the Earth's surface. 
you may wonder why. What's the benefit? Well, some advantages of underground houses include resistance to severe weather and a quiet living space because there is zero noise from the street or neighbors. Also, it keeps the surrounding area cool without using an AC unit along with a nearly constant interior temperature due to the natural insulating properties of the surrounding earth. In fact, people who are environmentally conscious are building houses underground for various reasons, like energy saving, preserving green space, using the land efficiently for environmental benefits, and for conserving wood. Recent research shows that the heating and cooling effects offered by nature under the ground can help you save as much as 80% in energy costs. So, by building homes underground, we are actually preserving the green land above that can be used for constructive purposes like gardening, agriculture, and parks. Land that is otherwise unusable, like the hillsides, can be used effectively for building homes inside. And most importantly, you will require less wood for the construction. So you will be saving the trees too. Let's also talk about safety, because what's the benefit of building a house without feeling a sense of safety and security, right? I'm pretty sure that you are well aware of different types of devices which can be used to increase safety in places such as homes, offices, and other public or private spaces. Well, if you live in an underground home, there is actually much more safety when compared to normal houses above the ground. The walls of these homes are constructed with very strong rocks, stone, or reinforced concrete. This means that underground homes provide protection from fire, hazards, and even natural disasters like tornadoes. Isn't that amazing? Another thing that you may be concerned about is the issue of home maintenance. Well, when your home is located underground, you will be free from certain maintenance jobs, like cleaning gutters or repainting exterior walls. So you can enjoy a lot of free time and save money. Since the roof is the ground, the natural landscape takes care of it. Also, the materials used for underground housing are not subject to harsh climatic conditions, so they require very little maintenance. Basically, we can say that the overall maintenance cost is very low when compared to traditional above the ground houses. I know this may all sound kind of futuristic and something out of a sci-fi movie, but actually it's not new. If we look at some North African countries like Tunisia, in order to avoid the intense heat and strong winds of the desert, they have had underground homes for many hundreds of years. They even feature in the famous Star Wars films too. Furthermore, over the past decade, there has been an increase in the popularity and benefits of underground housing to the extent that people have started to be more engaged in designing different types of buildings that can be used as offices and other commercial purposes. You can actually choose from a wide variety of styles and decor according to your budget. 
right now in 2023. There are many architecture firms that are specialized in designing such underground homes. You can consult them and use effective plans that are suitable for your personal choice. As I said earlier, eco-friendly underground homes help you conserve a lot of energy and reduce your energy consumption bills too. So, this is not a crazy idea. It is something that is available, happening right now, and an idea that I think is worth spreading. You will remember I said earlier that I went down a rabbit hole while just researching the Terra Pavilion, electricity, and sustainability. Well, after learning about subterranean buildings and the concept of underground houses, I ended up learning about a variety of other related aspects of sustainable design. I'm not gonna bore you with too many technicalities, so I'm just gonna highlight a few other features of underground homes that make them sustainable. Have you ever considered how to make your house a healthier place? An indoor waterfall can do that. Water is scientifically proven to put the mind at ease. Being near water, listening to it, or even looking at a picture of a blue ocean can reduce your level of stress. An indoor soaring waterfall generates cool air inside the house. Not only that, but also it can help purify and add moisture to the air naturally without the threat of molds or irritants. One of the great things about architects who design underground homes is that they intentionally make sure they are located near water, such as a lake or the seafront. You might be interested to know what's the benefit of having water in front of the house. Let me tell you. Firstly, it's well known that we can increase our outdoor activities. Secondly, which is more important is water can flow through pipes, also known as a penistock and then spin the blades in a turbine, which in turn spins a generator that ultimately produces electricity to supply the house. With these simple steps, we may start applying these alternatives in our homes and work our way up to a more sustainable society. Needless to say that Electricity is the backbone of modern society. And our life will go back to a primitive age without electricity. So, in order to save electricity, there is a need for rational use of electricity and alternative sources which, which should be explored to meet the gap between its supply and demand. We really should take every step to conserve sources of electricity for future generations. Finally, I would like to say that I'm 22 years old, born and raised here in Dubai. I am not an activist like Greta Thunberg, but thanks to social media, I am aware of global issues. And I know that sustainability is one of the most important topics of the present day. There are many young women in my generation who are sincerely concerned about what our planet will look like in 50 years time. And I think that regardless of age, gender or background, as humans, we must work together 
to build a sustainable future. And my message today is simply that we can work towards building a future underground. Thank you.